Playgasm Podcast, Episode 9, for September 9th, 2007. I'm Keith Harbour, and joining me is Josh Bicknell. Hello. And Kyle Dumont. Hi. Long time no see, gentlemen. Yes. It's only been two weeks. Seems like longer. This is normally when I appear. Well, two weeks for you is like eight weeks for Josh and I. Or something. Yep. It's been a while. All right, Kyle. So what's you, what have you been up to since you've been gone for only two weeks? I don't know. This and that. Uh, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts. I'm uh, getting pretty close to beating that. And um, that's pretty much it. I've been ignoring my DS lately, because there hasn't been really any games out for it that are worth buying. Yeah, the DS has been really, really slow lately. Not unless I want to buy three iterations of Mega Man X, or Mega Man whatever the hell it is now. Which I wouldn't even recommend. No. I didn't even bother with that, and I'm a Mega Man fanatic. That's all you've been up to? Well, yeah. I, uh... Ooh, I did some laundry today. That awesome. was pretty exciting. I- I'm happy I have clean socks. That is important. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing was Kingdom Hearts. I've, uh... All right, Josh. Moving on. Moving on. No, moving oh. on. Oh, fine, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what have you been up to? Uh, I was on vacation this week. So uh, I got to play a lot of Madden. I played oh, Madden day. with two of our friends. Yeah. And what team did you use? Uh, the Patriots. Yeah, you would. They're my, my team. They're my local area team. I can't say hometown team because I'm not in Foxborough, but yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you just have to take the team that's got the highest rating. No, you know better than that. <laughs> I do. I'm just messing with you. Ever since I've known you, we play football together. I've been using the Patriots. That's true. I'm the one who takes the team that's higher ma- ranked. That's all they you've try been to doing. Stop me. No, uh, I picked up Super Puzzle Fighter 2 HD Remix on the Xbox 360. Could the name of that game be any longer? It could. Yes, it could. And now I'm awaiting Super Street. Fighter 2, Puzzle, HD, Remix, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I Hyper want edition. the fighter version of it. Yeah, well, I really like the, the puzzle one. I've never played a puzzle fighter before, so it was really cool to actually sit down and try it. It's, a, it's another puzzle game. Keeps yeah, didn't, like we, it. didn't we talk about puzzle games earlier? Yeah, last week. Too many or, damn puzzle Last games. episode. I also played... Some Street Fighter. I'm seeing a trend here. You, you, yeah, you don't want me to tell anybody about that anymore, so I, I defy you. And uh, I played some Castlevania Symphony of the Night on my PlayStation Portable. Picked that up on the uh, PlayStation 3. and It was good. It, it, you know, playing it on the PS3 and then plugging my PSP into that and transferring the game over and the saves over to the PSP was flawless. I, it's really good. I love that system. I love that you can take a PS1 game and play it on my PSP. It's awesome. And they got a bunch of good games on there too, like Hot Shots Golf. Which one? Uh, no, they're all the same to me. Little oh. anime chicks that you try to look up their Golf. skirts. And yeah. there's golf. There's golf. Somewhere in there, there's golf. Which you hate. I don't hate golf. Yes, you do. I hate it. I hate playing golf against you, but I hate. I don't hate oh. golf. Okay. I will play okay. you in Hot Shots Golf 5 when it comes out. Definitely. For reals, y'all. I so that's it? That's no more puzzle it. games? Yeah. No, te- no Tetris or... Uh, you know, or the anything? usual... Playing Picross DS when I take a dump. <laughs> That's about okay. it. 
I'm waiting for for hockey next week. Getting ready. And you've also been thinking about buying an HD TV. Yeah, that's what I spent most of my week looking at uh, HD TVs when I was playing uh, Madden with Mick from the Fanboys. He's like, "You got to get HD," and that kind of triggered it in my head. I've been looking at them ever since. But you haven't bought anything yet. I almost bought one. What was it yesterday I was talking to you about, actually? And I held off, which I'm kind of glad I did, because then I found the 52-inch version for just like $200 more. So I might buy that now. Nice. 52-inch. Oh. Now, Kyle, see how much more exciting that was than what you've been doing for the past two weeks? He was on vacation. Step it up a little bit. I- I've been doing work in school. I don't have that much well, time. Well, you didn't on mention those things. I went to work on Friday. I got called into work on Friday. That's the worst vacation ever. Did you bitch? No, it was it was an awesome. No. Yes. I got Monday he off. Bitch to me. No, I didn't. He, yes, I he said, did. Keith, you whiny bitch. I can't sit at home and play video games with you because I have to go to work. And I said, you know what? I don't really feel bad for you because I have to work too. Yeah. And you get Monday off anyway, so. And I do. half of next Friday. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a good week so with hockey coming out. You have Monday off now because you had to go in on Friday? Yeah. So what I might do is I, I really got to sit down and try the uh, NHL 08 demo before I decide on which one I'm getting between the two. I might do that on Monday. That's a good idea. Yeah, we need to figure that out, Keith. Yeah. So you can figure out which one you're going to spank me in. <laughs> I never spank you. You did every time I took the Columbus Blue Jackets. You've never played me as Columbus. Yeah, I did. The first couple times I've used them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I realized they totally sucked, and I had to switch to Detroit or Toronto. Or or, New Jersey or, yeah. Yeah. Play as the Penguins. That's, that's, fuck the Penguins. That's true. You You have the best player in the league. Oh, don't get me going with this Crosby's (laughs) the greatest player ever bullshit. He's a fucking hack. No, he's he's very good. He's so, a human uh, highlight. Moving on. Wheel. Nope, moving on. Keith, what have you been up to? Uh, not a whole lot. Working six days a week. Uh, played a little bit of the Call of Duty for beta. Not oh yeah, I played that with you. Yeah, I I realized that I was dying a great number of times, mostly because of lag. Because when you pay attention to the point of view of the person killing you in instant replay, a lot of times I see that. I either didn't even move to point my gun at the person when they shot me, or I shot way behind where they were. So the only thing I can conclude from that, and based on my accuracy stats, is that I must have been lagging just a minute amount, just enough that I got killed before they before I could shoot them. It was still pretty fun, though. Yeah, you it was a good time. Yeah, when the target was stationary, I had no problem hitting it. But when it's two people <laughs> mo- facing off... You know, really, it's it's when two people face off and they're both moving, strafing. The lag, whoever's got the faster connection, is, it seems like they're going to win every time. So your problem was yeah. he moved and you could not shoot him because he was well, moving. He was moving and I wasn't registering his movement on my screen, so I was shooting where he used to be. Well, I understand that. I'm just was. making it sound like that you weren't able to play the game because you sucked. It made it less fun. I think the best part about playing Call of Duty 4 with Keith, though, was uh, we both were up on a balcony, and we were both getting ready to snipe some people. And I'm sitting there looking around for people to snipe, and all of a sudden I get picked off in the head, and I, I'm dead. And I just see Keith running around going to the door saying, retreat, retreat. <laughs> like a little bitch, he just leaves me dead. I didn't even know you were dead. I just heard a bullet go whizzing by me, so I backed up. No, you, you ran away you and you left the building. Well, yeah, it wasn't Let's safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's about all I've ever. been up to. Well, yeah. That's why you don't go in the military, because smart people die first. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for me. Just work and a little bit of Call of Duty for beta. Or yep. beta as our friends Bita. overseas call it. Phil Harrison. Beta. Yes. The home beta. Can't wait for home. 
Oh, uh, oh, yeah. We we would also like to say that uh, unfortunately Nick Maselli is no longer with us. Uh, at least for the time he being. He died in a car crash. Rest in peace. <laughs> no, he had a lot of um, personal things going on uh, with his wedding planning and his new job and all that. And it's not to say that he won't be with us again in the future. Just for right now, everybody felt it was best that he took care of his personal situation. So, yeah, his priorities Nick, are his priorities. Yeah. yeah, good luck to him. Uh, we, yep. I hope to see him back on here. He'll always be a friend of the show. Yeah. But he won't be my personal friend. Fuck. <laughs> Aww. That's cold. All right, back to the show. <laughs> this week we have a top five list, and our top five list is our top five video games you've never finished, but at some point intend to finish. So basically these are games that you started playing, you like the game a lot, or at least enough that you continued playing, at least partial, partially through, and for some reason you got interrupted and never got back to them, but at some point you'd like to finish them. Josh, would you like to go first with your list? Uh, I suppose so. Um, my number five would be Gears of War, the big uh, November hit from Epic that everybody was going crazy for, except for us, really. I, on the I got 360. It because, yeah, on the 360. Cause Isn't that a short game? It's on the 360 right now. I don't know. I'd never finish it. Why the fuck do you think it's on my list? <laughs> you fucking idiot. You could have read that uh, it was pretty short. I read it was pretty short, too. So that makes you pretty much a slacker for not <laughs> having finished that. Yeah, way to go, asshole. Uh, well, I started playing this with my friend Dave the Cripple. And does it have multiplayer co-op? Yes, it does. And you still never finished it? No, that's what we were doing. We were doing multiplayer co-op, but at the same time, we were playing um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance on uh, co-op as well. So I never got back to Gears of War. And while we were playing Gears of War, he spent more time dead... And I kept having to run up and, and resurrect him. That it was just so, so fucking boring. I didn't get it. I don't see the appeal to the game. So why is it on your but, list? Well, because it's it's an epic game, and I really like epic games. And it did have some cool moments to it, so I want to go back and finish it. Maybe. Probably. At some point. We'll see. Yeah. Later. Before you die. Oh, God. My number four would be Shadow of the Colossus, a Why? PlayStation 2 game. Why? Why? Be- because everybody says it's so amazing, and I got it. And yeah, for the PlayStation 2, this game does a lot that you really would not expect from that console. But at Is the same this time... the game you have to ride your horse for like 20 freaking minutes to get to the next spot? Yeah. And just... Then you attack a Colossus, and then you have to ride your horse another freaking half hour somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's the game. The reason why I was turned off from it right now is because of the frame rate issues, and that there's so many other games to play. I really don't want to go back to last gen, just like I, the reason why I haven't played any Wii games. But... I definitely want to finish this, just because everybody says it's so cool, and the Colossus battles later on get really cool. So you're using so a peer I, pressure argument. Yeah, I'm a bitch. I can't help it. Sheep. You're the worst <laughs> Yeti ever. <laughs> I knew it was coming. You have other Yetis it. to compare him to? Uh, Any other than Shaquille O'Neal? I, I know a few. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I knew there was going to be a Yeti joke somewhere in this podcast. Well, you Fuck. you join a secret society and you're going to catch flack for it. That's just how we rule. I'm not in a secret society. Oh, really? Have you ever seen a lot of Yetis being out in the open or photographed? Yeah, no, so it must Hampshire. be a secret society. We all got leathery skin. Hmm. I mean, you all hmm. talk weird, too. That's true. My number three would be Command & Conquer 3. Really? Yeah. I loved uh, what we were talking about last weekend, actually, Command & Conquer Gold. 
the one with Nod and GDI. I never yeah, uh, got a chance to finish three. three. Yeah, but three is a continuation of that. It is. It fo- it goes back to that old story. Yeah. I thought three. I think three was the first one I didn't get because I didn't like it where it was going. See, I didn't want to get three because of the way they handled like generals and and the other ones where they just like suddenly drop support. But since 3 was based on the older story, I, I definitely wanted to get it. And I played it for a little bit. And then, of course, that's when everybody started getting, or getting their uh, PS3s and 360s. So I totally got out of the PC gaming altogether. I just haven't gotten back into it. Do you find with real-time strategy games that you find them more fun to play online, multiplayer, rather than the first-person mission-based stuff? I don't play uh, RTS games online in their normal fashion, I play, uh, like, Defense of the Ancients Dota Mm -hmm. with Warcraft 3. Uh, You've heard me say that a lot to you. I have. But yeah, I find that to be a blast, just the way that the characters are laid out and the whole map is, I like the RTS engines that they do. But in terms of playing, like, Command & Conquer online, uh, no, I have never done that. The only RTS that I've actually played in its normal state would be StarCraft. And that was really fun, but I don't like playing against humans. I like playing, like, three humans against, uh, like, four advanced PCs or computers. I see. I guess I just don't believe you're ever going to finish Command & Conquer 3. I bet you I will finish it within the next two weeks. Do you want to make that bad? A more vacation? I bet you I'll finish it on Monday. How close are you to finishing it? I just started it. (laughs) <laughs> he's gonna play it on easy no do you wanna make that bet no I don't bet ah Kyle do you wanna make the bet I don't gamble with yetis what time on Monday alright moving on I hate you Kyle I'm moving on you're too late well, I'm, my number I two will be Final Fantasy 12 Where are you in that game? Uh, uh, like percentage-wise? Let's see. I don't remember. I know... I don't know. I think I was about halfway through. And then... uh, I don't remember what happened. I just stopped playing. Oh, I got my PS3. That's what it was. I got my PS3. Uh, and I just never didn't started playing start the game over. again. Yeah. You, no, you, I, well, you're I wouldn't too lazy have... to hook up your PS2. Yeah, essentially, and so I'm too lazy to hook up my PS2, and I don't want to spend the money to get like one of the uh, file transfer things for the PS3. Aren't they like fifteen bucks? Though? Yeah, well, it's fifteen bucks. I shouldn't have to spend. Yeah, I mean, you already forked over six hundred bucks for the console. What's your point? The uh, little connector thing is a mere fraction of the cost that the PS Triple cost. Maybe but I Kyle, can't afford fifteen dollars. You missed the point. He said he's too lazy. First of all, if he leaves leaves the house, he might be spotted. That is true. He he has to keep his identity secret. Yes. Well, just buy it online and then, you, you know, kill the really delivery man. For it. <laughs> That's a good point. You do consume about Final one Fantasy human 12, a week, though. right? Final Fantasy 12 was... <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun. For, for the amount that I played it. I like how they kind of mixed Final Fantasy X with, with eleven, with the uh, way the cities were. Did you like the battle system? I did, actually. I liked the, the free free running around style and with having the monsters on the map, actually, without the random spawns. That was pretty cool. And yet you hated and, Neverwinter Nights because yeah. of the battle system, kind of. But he was a big fan of Chrono Trigger. Hmm? You're a big fan of Chrono Trigger, aren't you? I like it. I wouldn't say I'm a big fan. Well, the battle system is similar. And you know something else, though? I like the Gambit system, but everybody I've talked to hated it. I thought the Gambit system was pretty damn good. You didn't have to use it, so I don't see why everybody was complaining about it. Do you even know what the Gambit system is, Keith? No, I didn't get into it very far. But it's on my list, so when I get to it, I'll mention it. Are you still in the uh, the five-hour intro? No, no, no. I'm in the city somewhere. I'm on the first little uh, mission thingy. Well, my number one would be Dead Rising. 
Really? You're going to finish that? You are never going to finish that. I am going to finish that. You will never. Your 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 360 game? will it will three it will red ring on you before you finish that. No, because remember I got the new 360 with the HDMI port. Mine's like all yeah, new which and is stuff. still going to red ring. And then if it does die, I got my other one sitting downstairs. It's your brother's now, isn't it? He hasn't paid me for it yet. Are you going to break his legs? Yes, Kyle, I'm going to break his legs. Cool. He hasn't he hasn't touched it yet, so why should he pay me for it yet? Josh has goons. He doesn't need to do it himself. You're right. So fuck with me, Kyle, and you'll lose your legs. All right, first of all, you don't have HD yet. So you are not going to want to play this game on standard def because you can barely freaking read anything that's going on on the screen. Well, can I finish my reasoning of why I haven't finished this game? Proceed. If, all right. I haven't finished this game because of the small text bug. <laughs> <laughs> Although a lot of people said it, they stopped playing because of the save system, I really didn't mind it. If you think about it, it's really similar to how Capcom does their, their save systems. I didn't mind it either. Yeah, so that wasn't a big deal to me. It was really just a small text bug because you couldn't read anything that was on the screen. In fact, I think the save system made it more appealing because a lot of times you had to fight your way through a whole freaking crowded area full of zombies to get to either a bathroom or one of the other save points. So yep. it kind of added something to the game. So like you had to get to a safe area through this horribly crowded mall full of undead people trying to kill you. Yeah, the save system didn't bother me. It was really just a small text bug. And yeah, I'm not going to touch it until I get my HD set. But I and really by then you'll have like 10 this. other new games. No, I'm not. This game, I had a lot of fun with this when it first came out. We both did, actually. I remember I was talking to you while we were playing it when we I still first like got this our game. 360s. Yeah, and you're like, holy fuck, all of a sudden a bunch of guys just grabbed me and they stripped me and they put me in a box. I was like, what, really? Oh yeah, that's right, yep. But this isn't a game that I plan on finishing. It, this is the kind of game that I can just pop in and just randomly kill zombies just for good, wholesome, violent fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel the need. I don't feel the need to, to finish it. I do. Okay. I think I owe it that. You owe Capcom. Yeah, I owe Capcom. I love Capcom. Okay. They make all my favorite games. That's my unbelieving. Okay. <laughs> but what would have made this game great is if it had online co-op. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, that would have been just amazing. Yep. They really need that in Dead Rising 2. Two people with samurai swords just slicing zombies in half. Dude, I would try to kill you and convert you to a zombie. Oh, that wouldn't be nice. And then when you're a zombie, I would chain you up and make my little Keith zombie, and I would pet you on the head. You're mean. That'd be you. great. I'd put, like, dogs in your mouth. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's my list. Now we heard a little bit of Josh's disturbing fantasies. Uh, Kyle, would you like to start your list? I, I, I would very much so, to just kind of clear the air from whatever runs through Josh's head. When he does things with zombies. Anyway. It's disturbing. It is. Uh, my number five is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Uh, I did complete the game. I, I did the the mission. I, I beat the main mission, but I did not beat all 300 missions. It's just a pain in the ass because you need certain items to do certain missions... And you have to redo missions to unlock the missions where you get the items to do the missions that you need to do. So it's a lot of backtracking mm -hmm. and just waiting. So I have to invest another yeah, 30 hours in a game I've already put 70 into. And it's it's a daunting task. But I do want to finish this that game. That sounds horrible. That sounds like torture. I I do like drilling things into my penis, so... <laughs> Oh, right. Anyway. I have no comment. <laughs> My number four is Knights of the Old Republic for uh, the Xbox. Thing is, this happened to me twice with this game. The first time, I was all good. I did light side. I was in the final area of the game, and I was about to 
and you know fight. What, what's her name? Ba- Bastila, Bastila, the lady Jedi chick who goes bad. Couldn't tell you. I never right played. Yeah, I save my game. I turn it off. I come back a few days later. Save files corrupted. So I just spent like twenty five hours on this game. I said screw it, and then uh, I I played it again when I had mono. So I went dark side, same area. Did it after I beat Bastila. Saved it. Turned it off. Turned it back on. Save files corrupted, and now I'm just kind of waiting for for it to happen again when I play it again. So are you uh, a Star Wars fan? A, a little bit. I'd have to say I'm you. a bit of a Star Wars fan. You. Was this a chronic problem with the original Xbox of having save files get corrupted? No, not that I know of. I have a, a first-gen Xbox, and this is the first time it's ever... Like, that's the only game that's ever happened that that problem happened with. I bet you it's because of the Steel Battalion controller. It is not because of the Steel Battalion controller. The Steel Battalion controller and that, game look perfectly fine. I was going to blame it on his mono. He thinks he saved it, but he really didn't. He was delirious. Actually, I, I was delirious at the time. Yeah, that's probably it. Some funny stories about that, which I'll regale you with at a much later time. Can't wait. Well, now Keith I'll didn't top five list for that. When you read this list, when you read Kyle's list, didn't you have something to say about him having Knights of the Old Republic on there? No, I don't think I did. I remember talking to you about it. And you're like Knights of the Old Republic. Why does he have that on there? No, I don't remember saying anything. I would said no. something about his list, but I don't remember what it was. I'm sure it was defamatory. Kyle's list sucks. Can I, uh, Knights of the Old Republic wasn't bad. I played that a little bit on the PC. I enjoyed it. I want to beat it, but I, I don't want it to happen again, so I'm a bit weary. But I'll probably finish it off at some point. Moving on. I hope your save gets corrupted again. Moving on. My number three is Final Fantasy One. This is kind of a game that I don't want to beat, but I want to beat it at the same time. This is the first Final Fantasy I ever played. I played it when I was like six. And a uh, common trend, the common trend in this is my save file got kept on getting corrupted because my Nintendo sucked ass. So I'd save it. I think it's you. It's not me. I saved the game. I went to the inn. I saved the game. And then it erased itself. Probably because the battery was dead. Or dying. You have unnaturally high levels of electrostatic running through your fingers. Maybe. I did grow under. I did uh, grow up underneath some power lines. It would explain the go. retard could be it. Ness. All right. Anyway, so I got uh, Donna Souls, which is Final Fantasy One and Two, for Christmas a few years ago. I, I beat two pretty easily. But I'm in uh, the very last... I'm in Chaos's Castle, which is the very last area in the game. And it's a giant maze. And I could easily beat uh, Chaos. It's just investing the time and just beating something that I've been trying to beat since I was six. I've, I've started this game 16 years ago. It's just a big oh, thing. Now, on I your list... It. Yeah? Kyle, on your list it says that you've been dicking around in, in Chaos. Chaos's castle. Yeah, for I, a while. I've been dicking around in Have Chaos's you, like, castle. literally for been two dicking years around now. in it. In the pleasure dungeon. Yeah, I, I do enjoy dicking around. There's nothing wrong with that. Can I move on, or is Josh going to question my sexuality again? No, I think he was just making a point. Okay. Uh, my second, my number two choice is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, a game I also played when I had mono. I, uh, got the hybrid cannon and I just stopped. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I'm close to beating the game. I just had to collect the 
other keys for the temple and then kill whatever the boss is. I assume it's Dark Samus. And I, I enjoyed Metroid Prime 2 a lot, despite the fact that I was running in the same area twice, except one area hurt me and the other didn't. But I, I, I want to beat it, just because I enjoyed uh, Metroid Prime 1 a lot. Yeah, Metroid sucks. You suck. Are any of these games going to be something you have to go back and maybe re-apply re- things you learned earlier? Like, to get re-familiarized with the areas you're playing in, or the control schemes, or what no, you're supposed I, to be doing? No, I mean... I, I I remember it pretty well. I know where I have to where I have to go and what I have to do. I just actually have to do it. I, I guess I'm pretty lazy, and I don't have a lot of time. Yeah, because from what you told us over the last two weeks, you've been very busy doing a lot of stuff. You know what? Screw <laughs> you. I have been very busy. <laughs> I'm sure you have. I was, I was picking fights with, with the loan company, and I was picking fights with the school. I've been so busy sitting there doing nothing. I was having sex with people. Multiple people? My hands and my girlfriend. <laughs> Cough. <laughs> You're gonna get AIDS. Oh, okay. What? Actually, just the HIV. Moving on. Golden Sun. Or, my number one is Golden Sun. Lost Age. Which is Golden Sun 2. Played it. Got pretty far in it. No. What is this? Golden Sun? Yeah, what does it run on? It was the Game Boy Advance game. It was like the best RPG for it ever. Okay, I didn't own one, so... I forgot you're our handheld expert. I do do enjoy using my hands. And I was going to say looking at small things, but that wouldn't really fit well. Anyway... It was a small penis joke, people. (laughs) So I played it. I got pretty far in it. I put in the little code so that all my data from Golden Sun 1 would transfer over into Golden Sun 2. And then I saved it, turned it off, went back to it a week later, started it up, and then the save file restarted and I had to play from the beginning again. Yes, (laughs) yeah! So I had gotten aggravated took the cartridge out of the the, uh, the Game Boy and lost it. So I have to find this game somewhere and play it to beat it. Your subconscious mind like threw it or hit it somewhere? No, I, I put it somewhere very obvious because I got uh, uh, I got the, the Zelda game at the time and I just you know swapped it out. And then I guess I lost it. That's awesome. I was very sad. Sounds fishy to me. So over your lifetime, how many games have you either fucked up the game save for, had a corrupted game save for, misplaced the cartridge so you couldn't finish it, or in some other way that was completely your own fault, done something so you sabotaged your own possibilities of finishing the game? A lot, actually, now that I think (laughs) about it. You know (laughs) what, Definitely a pattern. What? This is... God's way of telling you that you should not be playing video games. Or just not finishing them. If God didn't want me to play video yeah. games, I would not have hands. Hands to touch. Mm-hmm. You win this round. He makes a very good point. Although, I think he is trying to, That you would know, be awesome if you had no hands, though. Nah, it kind of suck. I, I think he is trying to extend uh, his will because I have many broken fingers or dislocated fingers or jammed fingers. Three on each hand. So you didn't even tell us about your fingers. They're all kind of football or roofing related incidents. Probably shouldn't be playing football on the roof. No, I was playing football for the school or with people, and then I went to roof because I did roofing work. I see. 
You were taking roofies? Yes. I like being passed out and then being raped. <laughs> While playing football on the roof. While playing football on the roof. And then when you were done being raped, they would corrupt your game save files. And step on my hands. Man, you got shitty luck. Yeah, I do. I I just made a major breakthrough, though, in my therapy classes. I I things are starting to look good. Got a I got a great outlook on life now. Should we ask why? Well, I'm I've accepted that me being raped wasn't really my fault. You know, I didn't really flaunt my anus to any of the rapers, so it's all their fault. Cue transition music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good thing you're studying psychology. Yeah, it is. It, it's it really helping me. It's really helping me cope with uh, the things that have happened to me. And you can deal with Josh a little bit more easily. The thing is with Josh is that he reminds me of my very abusive father. So having him yell at me and abuse me verbally is kind of like having my dad around. That's awesome. I've never yelled at you. Shut up. <laughs> That's not true. I'm not denying abusing you, but I've never yelled at you. And then this That's is the, not true. This is the part where Keith cuts in all the times where you called me stupid or a Jew. <laughs> yeah. Or I hate you. I, I've my had son. nothing but love and adoration for you, Josh. And here you are, spurting me. It's true. I'm tired, Josh. I, I just want to lay down and, you know, have us be friends without the yelling and the screaming. <laughs> Actually, he just wants to take some roofies and pass out and let you have your way. <laughs> so uh, I, th- I, th- I really think at this point we should uh, consider moving on with the podcast. Yes, we should. Yes, we should. <laughs> anyway, on to my that was my list. Keith, you're up. Thank you, Kyle, for your wonderful list of games that you totally destroyed yourself. <laughs> You're your own worst enemy. I am. Number five on my list is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I've not really been a huge fan of the Metal Gear series, but they're the type of games that are fun to rent and play cooperatively with multiple people in the same room at the same time. You know, each person takes a turn trying to get through either a full mission or part of a mission. My biggest problem with Snake Eater was that I didn't like the controls. I didn't like the whole first area is completely like stealth based. I've never been a huge fan of stealth based games. I was like having the option of going through things, you know, like Rambo. So Metal Gear Snake Eater, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, kind of. It's a great game from what I hear, but I just couldn't get very far into it. But I want to at some point. Are you going to get a Metal Gear Solid 4? Nope. Really? You don't no, want to no see plans. Snake as an old man? No, after I saw the video, uh, I think it was the... Uh, it wasn't TGS. It was the one before that. Was it uh, E3? E3? Yeah. I the think one, it was well, the, e- the one that was at Sony's uh, Gamers Day after E3. It was like a week or two after E3. Okay. It was the one with the huge fight scene where... The one retarded person ends up stabbing the other person through themselves. Yeah, right. the really, really yeah. gay-looking scene. Yeah, that was the that was the worst freaking video game uh, video trailer that's meant to get people to buy a game that I've ever seen. I mean, that alone you turned mean, me completely off. Wait, did you watch the part where uh, Kojima himself was playing the game? Yeah, I think I did. So. The part where Snake uh, used his uh, new statue uh, camouflage suit thing. Yeah, I don't and care. And grabbed the statue's penis, didn't turn you on. Uh, what? N- number four. <laughs> Must just be me. I don't know. Number four is Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. I think I'm pretty close to finishing this game. Um, I think the only th- one of the few things I still had to do was finish collecting all the comic books you have to or cartridges you have to collect in the game but Ratchet and Clank really fun game it was awesome is this the one that you made me buy as well yeah oh yeah yeah 
<clears throat> did you play very much of it? Uh, Except for the online. Yeah. Uh, I know we we played the hell out of the online for a bit until the servers got messed up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I play it. This is actually the one that got me into Ratchet & Clank. I never played the previous ones. I think this is the best one so far. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And now I'm really looking for the, forward to the one on the PS3. It looks really good so far from what I've seen. Kyle, have you ever played a Ratchet & Clank? Kyle, have you ever played a game on a console that wasn't the Xbox? Yes. Or Nintendo? Or Nintendo product? Yes, I have a PlayStation. I have a PS1. One of my favorite oh. games is on the PlayStation. It's not Final Fantasy VII, people. It's Xenogears. When you go back to psychology class, maybe if, when you do the group thing, you could talk about how quickly you get defensive. It's We're just, here to help, Kyle. It's, it's, really it's a are. reaction. I've, I've just been raped so many times. So, so many times. <laughs> Number three. I actually had to get a new sphincter because it just <laughs> wouldn't work anymore. Uh, never mind. I was going to say, he has a colostomy bag, but that was too long. <laughs> it's like throwing a hot dog down in the hallway. <laughs> Number three on my list is Final Fantasy XII. I did not get very far into this game. Got through the tutorial levels and into the town with its market area. And I think I was going to look for either my first or second bounty, but I can't really recall. I know I just didn't get into it. I don't know why. I think some of it was the battle system where it shoots out little arrows or rainbows or whatever the hell you want to call the arcing thing that points who you're going to attack next. Well, I remember when this game came out, you were really down on games in general. So yeah, I don't think I was. it really had a fair chance. But I got two games at the same time, which is, for me, it's really a big no-no because it means I'm probably going to concentrate more on one of the two games over the other. And the other game I got around the same time was, I think, Need for Speed Most Wanted, which I played oh, yeah. seriously for a long time. Um, actually, that should probably be on my list, since I think I made it to, like, ranked 5th. Wait, you didn't beat that either? Shush. I said it should be on my list. God, you're such an awful gamer. I, I never said I was a good one. Number 2 is Resident Evil 4. Uh, I've talked briefly about my dislike for Resident Evil-type games and games the, of the horror genre in general. Part of it is camera angles and other things. And none of them really apply to Resident Evil 4 because they fixed just about everything that I had problems with in the previous Resident Evil games. Yeah, I remember when uh, Resident Evil 4 came out, a lot, of, a lot of people were saying, this is the one that made me re-interested in the series. Which, for me, yeah, I, I guess I can say that too. Resident Evil 4 was a really good game. And it's fun to play. I mean, there's I really don't have any excuse for why I haven't finished it, except that. Wait, I do have an excuse. Did well, you get I it got, on the PS2? I got it on the PS2, and I got it right when it became a classic. You know, when you can still pick up the regular boxed game for twenty dollars. But I did that with like five other games at the same time. Which, which is, is a no-no for you. <laughs> which is hugely bad for me with video games. Because I end up never finishing any of them. They're so tempting to play different ones. And I never get very far in any of them. You should really go back and finish this one ASAP. That's why it's number two. Number one on my list, and you guys already Ooh. know about this one, is Ooh. Final Fantasy Jesus VII. Christ. Did you even get out of Medgar yet? What? Yeah, I was about to get on the... <laughs> no, he hasn't. The big ship. You know, you have to be in line and do all the different little march in place oh, stuff. Oh, you're there. So you uh, haven't even yeah, gotten yeah. off the that's first the, time I think that's... Yet. I don't remember. But that's as far as I got because <laughs> I had one of those janky multiple-page PlayStation 1 um, memory cards. 
that you had to go to the correct page to save something on if you had multiple pages. And if you didn't have it on the right page when you first started playing the game, sometimes it would corrupt the data. Alright, but do you actually seriously intend to replay and finish this game? Yes, I do, mainly because I really did love this game. I mean, this is probably my favorite fantasy Final Fantasy game. Number Final Fantasy X is probably my second favorite, but this one was a lot of fun. I even had it on my PSP for a little while. In fact, it was on my PSP when I went to Florida, and I was I played a little bit of it. Probably shouldn't say that because it's pirated. I didn't have it on my PSP, but I knew someone who did. <laughs> it wasn't his, it was his friend's who was just <laughs> holding it. I'll, I'll edit that out, or not. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Honorable mention on my list, which you guys hate, probably, is Prince of Persia, Sand of, Sands of Time. Oh, you bastard, you didn't even write down any honorable mentions. You tried to trick me this week. <laughs> I did. I just thought of this one while you guys were going through your list, and I was like, oh, I am so close to finishing. I could finish this today, right now, if I wanted to. If I put it in right now on my PlayStation 2, I am so close to finishing it. And the only reason I didn't finish it was because I was playing it at the same time as my girlfriend at the time was playing it, and she lives in Boston. So we were playing kind of together, and we would tell each other how far we were in the game. We'd be talking on Skype and playing at the same time. Anyway, I, so, at some point, play? I got... Shut up. I got... What? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I got pretty far ahead of her somehow. I don't even remember how. You did. So I stopped to wait. God. I stopped to wait, and it, I guess she finished it before I did. Which is usually the way it happens with me and women. They finish before I do. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> that was rude and disgusting and perverse. <laughs> that's because you don't even get the chance to finish. You're so old, you just pass out. Yeah. So that's why I never finished Sands of Time. But I wholeheartedly intend to. You and your honorable mentions. Yes. They deserve honor. And I need to mention them. I don't think you do. He has a reason. point. Yes, I do. Thank you. I knew someone would agree with me. And now it's time for our video game music challenge, where we play a snippet of music from a video game, and you, the listener, tries to guess what game that the video game music comes from. Josh, did we have a winner from our last podcast, Video Game Music Challenge? We did, but nobody who registered on the forums and did it correctly. Those lazy bastards. I did. I sent you a private message. I should win. I deserve to win. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Last week, I did. I forgot what it was called. Oh, it's that music that I forgot what it was called. Yeah, I should win. That was two weeks ago. <laughs> Which you said wasn't very long ago? All right, well, what was the video game music it was from Bubble Bowl. Shit, Bubble, I knew Bubble, it. Bubble. I did send you that private message. You didn't send me on the forums. I totally did. I'm checking my messages right now. I'm checking right now, Kyle. I'm not dealing with your shit. I fucking hate you. We'll get back to you on a ruling on whether or not Kyle private messaged. In the meantime, here's this week's music. Listen closely. Again, if you think you know what video game that music comes from, log in or register on our forum at www.playgasm.com slash forum and private message Josh on the forum. Hello! Now we want to talk about something that kind of plays into our top five list this week, and that is some of the reasons we don't finish video games right away. Specifically, this is more along the lines of what are the the reasonable reasons you guys see for not being able to finish a game. Not, oh, I freaking hated the game, so that's why I didn't finish it. Or my apparent affront to God and him destroying all my games. Yeah, that could be one too. Or, oh, I just rented it, I didn't like it. Or it was my friend's and he came and took it back. 
other than that, games you own that you liked and you intend to finish, generally speaking, why do you not finish them? For me, I think the biggest issue of why I don't finish games is because there's so many other games out there. And I can't stop myself from buying other games. So lack of self-control. Well, I'm now finally starting to get that self-control. Like with this fall, I've scheduled every game that I'm getting that's coming out. You made a schedule? And I'm not going to... How is that self-control? Shh. Let me talk. <laughs> All right. And I'm not going to buy any of the other ones on my schedule until I finish them or get to a point where I can finish it real easily at a later time. Are you referring to the games on your list? No, I'm talking about like games that are on my schedule that are coming out this fall. No, what games do you want to finish before you buy them? Uh, this is on my list now? Yeah. Probably Final Fantasy XII and Dead Rising. Those are the only two you intend to finish before you get, I don't know, Halo 3? Uh, yeah. I could probably finish Command & Conquer 3 Monday. So I'm not too worried about that. And Final Fantasy XII, like I said, I'm about halfway through it, I, I believe. So that shouldn't be a problem. And Dead Rising is going to have to wait until I get an HD set, really, because I'm not going to play it on standard definition again. No, it's unplayable. Unfinishable, I should say. The biggest reason for me would be because there's, there's too many games that come out, and too quickly. Kyle, how's your self-control? I have pretty good self-control. I'll usually stick with a game... Until it gets to a point where I either get sick of the game because I'm playing it too much, or I just get bored with it. I mean, I'm pretty good with the, ooh, something shinier. I'll get that. Take that, old game. And then I kind of throw it I'm away. I'm a yeti, I can't help it. Aren't yetis for, like... Pack rats? A hoarder. Well, I keep the games, I just don't finish them. Like, I have every game that, that I've never finished actually all on a shelf for, like, where I can just pull them down and finish them. So I'm keeping them all separate from the games that I have finished. So this really isn't a matter of out of sight, out of mind, except for the one that Kyle mentioned that he misplaced. Or God destroyed. Right. Or the Steel Battalion Controller 8. The Steel Battalion Controller has done nothing wrong you're not failing to finish these games because you can't find the game you're failing to finish them because you have so many other games that you want to play well that's me I don't know if that's Kyle or you but for me yeah that's totally why yeah the reason why I usually don't finish games is because I don't care about that game anymore that's usually the big reason but you still came up with five games that you did care enough about that you'd like to finish correct because God destroyed my save file. <laughs> Numerous times. Numerous times. And then he made me lose my game cartridge. So you're really saying that you want to finish these games despite God. Exactly. Alright, that's reason number two. Spiting God. Yep. I like and then that. another one is, you go into a game that has so much hype, and then it does not live up to that hype. Like, a Final Fantasy game, you know you're going into it with a, a game that has a great story. But then every once in a while you'll get one that has a shitty story and the hype basically destroys it for you and you do not want to touch the game from that point on. But like, now you're talking I about games say, you don't want to finish, though. Yeah, but this is ones that I would probably finish just to say I did. What do you have on your list that is like that? Uh, Crackdown. Or Shadow of the Colossus, I think you mentioned. Yeah, the Shadow of Colossus would be one of them that I would definitely beat just to say I did because it's such a popular game. And Crackdown's not even on your list. Is that your honorable mention? Well, I beat Crackdown, but oh. I'm saying that's one of the games that I beat just to say I could. I thought it was so did. you could get the um, achievement points. Moving on. <laughs> um, You're an achievement point junkie, Josh. No. Actually, Nick is becoming one. I thought we weren't going to talk about him. He just said hello, by the way. My bad. He just died. I mean, should we really be talking about him? Car crash? Rest in peace, Nicholas. But you know how it is. Like, when you get a game, or when a game's not out yet, and there's so much hype around it, and then you get it, and it doesn't live up to what you wanted, you just don't want to touch it. Yeah. You, but then sometimes... Like Metal I'll, Gear I'll, Solid 3, Snake Eater. Yeah. That's a good example for you. 
Kyle, do you have any games like that where the hype is just so huge and then you get it and you hate it? Brute Force for the Xbox. Biggest cock tease for two years and then came out and it sucked. Is that the one with the chick with the hammer? No, that was on the PS2. Uh, it was the game where it was the strategy type game. It was like Lost Vikings where you had party members and you had each one had different abilities and you had to like assign like you took control over one character and you had to go like you got the huge gunner guy and he destroyed the tank and then you got the little stealthy chick and she, you know, backstabbed someone. And I just remember waiting for this game for two years because it kept getting delayed and delayed. And the hype just kept building up. Finally got it. Piece of crap. And now that you bring up waiting, too, Final Fantasy XII was one that I waited for for so long. And then the, I got it. And I played the shit out of it. And then I never finished it. And that kind of, now that I think about it, it annoys me. It should annoy you. It's on your list. Yeah, but that was a game that they delayed and delayed and delayed. And then you wouldn't hear anything about it. And then finally it just shows up. And then I never beat it. God damn it. But what was your reason for not beating it? PS3. See, I don't see that as a good reason. Because there really haven't been a lot of games on the PS3. He's been playing Street Fighter 2 too much. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, Street Fighter 2 on the Xbox. And Super Mega HD Puzzle Fighter Kung Fu Addict thing. Actually, no. Back then I was into Viva Pinata. Oh, boy. Did you finish that game? Can you finish that game? I don't think you can. Question? I don't know if you can. I got pretty damn far in it, though. I know that. Enough to get, like, 400 or 500 achievement points. Can you beat The Sims? Can I beat The Sims? I can you? I hate the no, Sims. you can't beat The Sims. Well, then you can't beat Viva Pinata. Unless you consider finishing the game when your first Sim dies and you no longer control any other sims in the neighborhood because you've killed them all off. Uh, I made a uh, a guy who was very, very uh, personable, and he'd lure people into his house, into cages, and they just <laughs> nice. sat there like farm animals until they died. Are you serious? Yeah. They they would go in there by themselves? Yeah, they'd, they'd, they'd hop in, and they'd go in, and then I'd, you know... Replace the the door with a gate. So it's pretty much his bottom floor was nothing but cattle fences. And then he had a second floor, which had a, like an open view of the first one. And he had like a, a chaise lounge, which he could lay down and observe all the people, you know, being tortured. Kyle, you don't have a basement, do you? Uh, not here, no. Not in the apartment building. I used oh. to. Oh, uh, I'm never going to visit you, Kyle. <laughs> <Here am I. laughs> um, what's your last name and phone number? Oh, come on. Who hasn't <laughs> tortured people in The Sims? Yeah, I haven't. You make a good point. I torture people outside of The Sims. That's true. Like me. In the woods. Because he's a Yeti. That's right. But I'd say hype, anticipation, and just... Too many games are my biggest factor of why I, I can't seem to finish them. And now that I'm older, work is another big issue. I just don't have the time that I used to when I was younger. So video gaming is becoming less of a priority? No, it's still a huge priority. But it's, it's less just... of a pr- priority because you have to make money first. It... Well, yeah, but it's still a huge priority to the point where I bring my PSP and DS to work. However, I mean, sometimes you just can't devote enough time to a game. I mean, when there's games that are 70 right. plus hours, you really can't just sit down and play the game out. I mean, it's good that you, there's a, you know, 8 to 16 hour games that are coming out. It's just something you could play in a week and be done with it. So is part of it that games aren't giving us enough motivation to finish the game? Like, maybe the ending credits really aren't that interesting or exciting. There's no real point to finishing a game anymore. Well, uh, with games like Kingdom Hearts 2, 
if you beat the game, if you absolutely annihilate it, you get the the sneak peek into Kingdom Hearts 3, but you could just go on to YouTube and watch the video. So the gratification that you can get on the internet is pretty much taking away from what you would get if you actually had to beat the game. I'd say that. Well, ego is another big factor with that, too, because now that like the PS3 and the Xbox 360 are online all the time, and people see what you're playing, and they see how far you are in the game. Unless you turn that stuff off. Unless, yeah, unless you turn it off. Which I have done recently. Why? It just kind of... Because I hate it. Oh, good reason. Well, I don't feel like I, I should be stalked. Factor. Well, you're making, your, you're making my job very difficult, then. I am. <laughs> I used to stalk you all the time. Have you finished Bioshock? No, that was actually on my list. Uh, actually, is that still on my list? Did I not read that? It's not on your list. Okay. I did not see Bioshock. Uh, no, I haven't finished Bioshock. I'm actually probably going to try to finish that one around December. So that's another honorable mention? No, because I'm not like you. I'm not even going to put that on my list. You wish you were, though. No, I don't. You wish you were straight? Because because then I, I would be pissed off that I didn't beat Final Fantasy VII. can't believe you didn't finish yeah. that. I told you, game cartridge corruption can happen to anyone, not just people who have pissed off their god. That was, that was, you were maybe 13 hours into the game. What's your point? That's 13 I hours. I was on a, I, oh, that was the second time it happened. Oh, it wasn't just story. It wasn't just once. Th- yeah, I'd played to that, almost to that point, two or three times. And every single time, I went to load the right page that had the uh, game save on, it was gone. So it was like, screw this. I still have the game. I mean, it's one of the few PS1 games that I kept when I sold my PlayStation 1. So yes, I still have every intention of finishing it, because that's the only reason I kept it. You should be ashamed selling your games. You know some what we should do? What's that? Is, uh, as we finish these games, oh, we should make progress reports on the podcast as we're playing them and as we finish them. Isn't that what we kind of do already in the beginning? No, but I'm saying, like, get back to the backlogs. Like, say, okay, I beat this game. Okay, I'm this far in this game now. That way, people, our fans, can know that we're actually serious about beating these games. Yeah, I'm up for that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I gotta find Golden Sun too. Well, you can start with I'll something you, you. you already have. Yeah, but that's my number one. That's my highest priority game to finish. Oh. Well, in that case... Yeah. You gotta start working on seven. No, see, I don't view my list that way. Well, how do you look at your list? I look at my list as Final Fantasy seven is the one I most want to finish. But it's not the one I'm most likely to finish first. I'm the type of person who's like, alright, I want to accomplish something quick. So with the stuff that I'm almost finished with, I should do that first. Just to get it off my plate. And then go on to the thing I have a little bit more to do on. From an efficiency standpoint, that's how I roll. I bet you I can clear up my list before you two finish yours. Yeah, because your games are almost all done. Yeah, I was going to say, and look at mine. Final Fantasy VII. Exactly. I'll start from scratch again on uh, Final Fantasy XII. And Dead Rising? Actually, you will anyway. Yeah, I will anyways. I'll restart from scratch for Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. That'll be a swell 100 hours of playing. (laughs) I I did enjoy the game, though. Probably the best game to play in the bathroom, ever. No, pick cross DSs. Dude, I'm telling you, remember last week I sent you that message? Yeah, maybe two weeks ago? You numbed your testicles playing it for so long. Yeah, I was playing Picross DS on the toilet for so long that my legs went numb and then my balls went numb. Oh, you should just take up cycling then. Because if you don't have the right seat, that'll definitely happen. Alright, I have another question for you guys. When you buy games now, is finishing that game a big priority? Or is it, you know, is the gaming ex- experience itself enough to motivate you to keep playing the game? Do you really care if you finish them anymore? No, I don't care at all. As long as it, if the ride was good, then, you know, the game was good. Josh? 
Uh, I would partially agree with Kyle. If the ride was good, then I'm good. But these days, a lot of the games that I'm buying are for online play more so than single player. Like, I don't buy a Madden to really play it offline. I play it to play online. Okay, but a game like maybe Rock Band... Is that a game right. that when you play it, are you going to be playing it to finish it? Or are you just playing it for the experience of it? Well, that's more or is it a game-by-game game game. game? In terms of Rock Band, I think that's just going to be a game that I can pick up and play rather than try to force myself to finish it like I would a Final Fantasy. I think that's just going to be a pick-up-and-play game. I think if you're going to put a game like that, that I have to like feel I need to finish, would be like Halo 3. The single player stuff is probably yeah. going to be, uh, I don't want to say the most interesting part of that game, but I don't know. For me, I think I'm going to enjoy the first person stuff, single player, more than the multiplayer. Yeah, I'd have to say the same thing. I mean, I mean, I don't have access to multiplayer, but I wasn't a big fan of first person multiplayer to begin with when I did have access to it. No, I'm not either. But getting back to the reasons why we don't finish games, I'm just sitting here thinking about a lot of the games that have been coming out recently that have been highly touted on the 360 at least, and even to some extent on the PS3 with a game like MotorStorm. There, it seems like there isn't as much gameplay to finish these games as some of the more epic adventures that were done on the PS2 and PS1. Well, now the way it seems to be is you're having your online games and then your offline games. Like Bioshock, an, off shot, uh, an offline game, where they're c- going to concentrate and really make the single player epic because they have no online player to force themselves to work on. Mortar Storm, I think the single player aspect is more of a training to get you ready for online. But is Bioshock really epic in length? I thought it was like, I thought I read it was not that long. Yeah, it was the 15 I don't know game. if it's epic in length. I think... And there's no just, way you can really die in that game. No, but a lot of people are saying just the game itself is epic. So, I don't know I meant in you size. look at that. You know, like the Odyssey. No, in size it isn't. My penis is. Uh, you are a part Yeti. And even Resident Evil, I don't think. Resident Evil. Even, uh... What am I thinking of? Dead Rising. Dead Rising? Yeah, Dead Rising isn't that long of a game if you play no. straight through it. Even though it's a little sandboxy and you don't have to play it in a linear way. But doesn't it seem like the so-called next-gen games kind of are lacking in the epicness? I would say right now, yeah. They really are. But that is also going to be changing soon. I mean, look at Mass Effect where they're building up the, the big epic story of it. Uh... Final Fantasy XIII, Metal Gear Solid IV. I think, at least on the 360 side, there is no excuse to not have these big, epic, long games. Unless people PS- unless people just aren't putting the emphasis on finishing games anymore. You know, our attention spans aren't as long as they used to be. No, I remember when you and I first got into the 360. We ended up buying more games than we were finishing, and we both noticed it. Yep. I think that's just because the games didn't keep us interested long enough because it didn't have that big big epic feel to it that would keep me interested everything almost felt like a pick up and play type game or there wasn't enough advancement of our character in what we were playing that we didn't feel like our skills were evolving at least to some extent that's how I felt about at least Dead Rising I mean yeah you could earn skill points by taking pictures of zombies or whatever but it didn't actually seem like I was getting anything out of that so there wasn't really a big deal for me to not finish that game. I would just get in, play for a while, kill a lot of zombies, and then shut it off without even caring about saving. I think with with the current gen, meaning the, the Wii, the PS3, and the 360, you're not going to see those big epic games until the big RPGs start coming out. Or a big sandboxy game like uh, GTA. Yeah, but I don't care about that. I know you don't care about it, but... I. Th- I think that's the kind of game that is going to be one of those games that you don't care if you finish, but its its scope is going to be so huge that you're going to call it an epic game. But then I had Saints Row on the 360, and I didn't finish that. Yeah, but you don't like games like that. 
Yeah, I do. I just, no, you don't. I think the f- You've bashed yeah, on Grand Theft Auto so much, and now you're going to turn around and say that you really like Saints Row type game? I, th- I bashed on Grand Theft Auto because there was no innovation within the game. There really was. Wait a minute. What's the innovation in Saints Row? Nothing. It's more of the same. Well, then no wonder you're not going to finish it or get very far into it. And that's why I don't care about <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 4 is because the formula hasn't changed. They're just re- recreating the wheel. Do we know that? Yes. Really? I work for Rockstar. Oh, I didn't know that. Can you get, can you get me some swag? Wait, I thought you shot stuff no. with lasers. Just the birds. I shoot you with lasers. I don't know what to believe anymore. I think we're getting a little off the track. <laughs> out of thanks, thanks to Kyle. Out of the five games that you have on your list, and my five plus honorable mention, how many of those five and my six are each of us going to really realistically try to finish? I mean, commit. Right now, to how many you think you're going to finish, let's say, within the next year? I'll finish all of them. All of them. I'll probably within finish the next all of them year? within the month. You don't even have oh, Golden yeah. Sun. I'm sure I can find it for like five bucks. If not, I'll just emulate it. Because I did own time. the game. I did own the game, so it's legal for me to do that. Fair use. You have... Cut that out. Cut you out. The scalpel. Josh, how many? I think I'd finish all of them. Really? Yeah. Then I don't want to hear each week that you guys don't have any time to do anything. Wait, games. are you talking about like in the next year? Yeah, by like by... when this year ends or within a year from now? A year from now? Yeah, no, I'll finish them. Yeah, easily. Really? Easily. Because I'll commit to one, two, <laughs> three... Well, four, if you count my honorable mention, of the six. Final Fantasy VII better be one of those. It is. But the Resident Evil 4 is one. Final Fantasy XII, maybe. And Ratchet and Clank, yeah. And uh, Sands of Time. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I could easily finish those. But it's going to be a struggle to get through Metal Gear Solid 3. And like I said, we we can keep a little progress report on the podcast to let people know how far we are, which ones we beat. Yeah, I'll bring right. I'll bring Final Fantasy one to work tomorrow and beat it there. Well, see now you're just bragging because you can play games at work and I can't. Yeah, I wish I can do that, Dick. You do that, don't Dick. you? Sit in the bathroom for hours on end playing your video games. I don't sit at work in the bathroom at work. Oh, that, that that's the impression work. that I got. I'll be emailing Keith, be like, dude, guess what I'm doing? And he'll reply with, like, what? I'll be like, I'm playing my DS right now. And I'm working at the time. Which, of course, doesn't make me feel very good. I can do both, because it takes a while for uh, my work to compile sometimes. Well, sometimes my program takes a while to run, but I'm afraid it's going to crash. So I actually have to pay attention. I, I think we've pretty much exhausted this, but... Indeed. I think we have. I'm I'm really interested to see... If we can actually hold to what we said. I know I can. I will. Easily. I'll try. I'm really realistic about it, though. I think out of the three of us, and I'm not trying to denigrate what you guys are saying, because I'm sure you think you're going to do what you say you're going to do. But realistically, I know I'm. there's no way I'm going to be able to finish all those in less than a year. Uh, I just realized I have to find my Final Fantasy One cartridge. Oh, God. Things aren't looking okay. up for Kyle. <laughs> you know, I should have put, like, Final Fantasy X-2 on there, because I only played, like, two seconds of it. The battle system was fun with the jobs. I should have put just easy ones that I've almost finished on there. Yeah. Well, now that it's, like, becoming, hey, let's actually prove we can beat them. Yeah. But none of us are going to commit to not buying any more games before we finished all five of the games on our list. You know what? I would almost do that if I didn't have games already pre-ordered. Exactly. That's what. I'm, well, you could still not open them, leaving them in the packaging. Oh well, pack. I'll do that then. I won't buy any, or I won't play any any newer games. Does that count? What I already have on my 360 now, uh, like Madden and all that. No. Are they unwrapped? Right, so I won't. Y- yeah. yeah. Does that count as buying Xbox Live and PlayStation Network yeah. games? You can't buy those. Fuck. Take that. Or reiterations I don't of want to do that for you. I don't even want to do that. I'm not saying we should do that. 
Uh, in fact, I'm 100% against doing that. And I'm the least likely of the three of us to buy a new game in the next three months. I think I beat you. Why? Oh, wait. Shit. Didn't, didn't Luminous Arc come out? Yeah. Shit, I gotta buy that. <laughs> Fuck. Not until you finish what's on your plate. Oh, but Mom, I want dessert. Just give it to the dog. Luminous Arc looks so good. I'm tired of chewing through Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> you know Kyle's never going to finish any of them because all of his saves are going to get corrupted. Yes, I know. I expect to hear about that in the corruption reports. I'm sorry. The progress we'll, report? We'll call it the Kyle reports. Yeah. The K-Files. Josh's and mine will be progress reports. Mine will just be failures. Yes. <laughs> all right, that's about all we have to talk about for this week. Remember, you can talk to us on the forums at www.plagasm.com slash forums. Forum. Forum. Forums oh, wow. will lead you to a pleasant surprise, I believe. <laughs> I don't think it will. Josh said he's going to fix that. You did fix that, didn't you, Josh? Uh, no clue. Let me check. You didn't. You know you didn't. I don't think I did. I'm, I'm looking right now. That's okay. Oh, he did so, fix it. No, no. Ah. It still takes me to, to uh, Dakota Fanning's. No, it's not. Yeah. I just did forums. Forums with a Z, Kyle. www.plagasm.com slash forum. Oh. I did it with an you should S. go. Fail. So check out our website at plagasm.com and the forums at forum slash forum. Fuck. Anyway, private message. Josh, if you know the video game music challenge. And with that, we're out of here. Later. We are ghosts. Bye. Oh, but mom, I want dessert.